Hi everyone. In today's lecture, we will discuss about introduction to class in Java. So you know, class is the building block of an object-oriented programming language. Okay. So basically, class is nothing but a collection of data members and methods in a single unit. This is what a class. Fine. Or you can say that class is a logical entity or a blueprint of an object, which basically defines the structure of object. This definition is also hundred percent valid. What is class? Class is a blueprint of an object, which basically defines the structure of object. Let's understand this with the help of example. Fine. Suppose I want to construct a house or a home. So, what is the first thing that is required to build a house? Obviously, blueprint is required, right? Blueprint of a home is required. It means blueprint of a home is required first, right? So, blueprint is basically a construction. Drawing on a paper that shows how a home is going to be designed or construct, what materials are to be used, and where features like doors, windows, sinks, and appliances will go. In simple word, if you are going to construct a home, okay, you will need a blueprint of a home. Fine, you will need a blueprint of a home so you can say that the blueprint of a home is what a logical thing a logical entity as it is present only on the paper that is the reason i am saying it is what a logical entity it is not a real time entity okay now tell me one thing now by following this blueprint of a home we can construct our real home right we can construct our real home fine and this is what we called it as physical home this is actually a home a object okay and this is what just a blueprint the blueprint defines what the structure of a home and by following that blueprint we usually construct our real home fine i hope this much is pretty much clear to you so in the same way class is what a logical entity and the object is what a physical or the real time entity i hope this much is clear to you now see now whenever we define a class the memory space will not be allocated as the class is logical entity that is the reason the memory space will not be allocated the memory space will be created when we create an object of class remember this point now tell me one thing does blueprint of a home requires land or cement or bricks no it is not required right so when it is required when you will go for real construction of home then it is needed i hope now you understand the concept behind this line right the next point is we cannot create an object without a class so we should create class first then we should create object of that class that is the flow remember this point fine next using same class we can create multiple objects which is called as what similar objects or identical objects let me explain you this thing also now tell me using same blueprint of a home we can construct multiple homes right in same way using same class we can create multiple objects known as similar objects or identical objects okay fine with the point clear with the point therefore we can say that class is what a reusable component in java because using a same class we can create multiple objects that's why class is what reusable component in java now you know the data members of a class are also known as attribute field or properties and the methods of a class is also known as behavior 
we will see each and everything what is behavior what is attribute just hold on for the good time i will explain you one by one everything so now tell me you know every class in java will be represented in the form of class diagram and the class diagram has three partitions three partition this is partition 1 partition 2 and partition 3 so the first partition provides the information about the class name the second partition provides the information about the data members the third partition provides the information about the methods so this is what the class diagram i hope you are pretty much clear with this point now let's move ahead and see the important points regarding class okay the first point is in order to develop programmer defined data type or user defined data type we can use classes concept okay we have already covered the use of primitive data type array data type and we have covered why to go for class which is basically programmer defined data type used to store multiple values of same type or different type or both so please refer to data type lecture for better understanding fine i have described each and everything in that lecture why we should go for the class why sh we should go for the array okay and what are the limitations of the primitive data type i have described each and everything so you can watch that lecture data type lecture okay let's see the next so programmer defined data types allows us to store multiple values of same type different type or both next by the help of class keyword we can develop programmer defined data type called class okay if you want to create a class your own class you have to use this class keyword how to use we will see just now okay now one important point see as a programmer we must start learning the concept of class first because without class we can't think of a java program remember this point if there is no class you can't construct a or you can't create a object of a class right so the first thing you should learn is the class now let's see the syntax of a class so this is basically syntax of a class where you have to provide the modifier which is what optional it is optional and what is modifier we will see in the future don't worry for now it is optional then you have to use the class keyword okay then you have to provide your class name and inside the curly braces this is what the data members this is what data members and what is this this is your methods you have to provide the data members which is basically what a variable right data type then variable name data type then variable to name and this is what the methods return type of a method then method name what what parameters or what arguments you want to pass pass it over here right and statements inside the method body and here is statements inside the method body too so this is the what the syntax of a class i hope this much is pretty much clear to you now let's see in eclipse how to create a class okay how to create a class let's go to the eclipse create one project file new java project we are learning what oops concept right so i can give a name like oops concept okay now finish i have this project here oops concept i have src right click new let me create one package first so com dot navin is my package name right finish now inside this package let me create one class so new class i want a employee class employee i want a public static void main also inside this finish fine my class is ready now i want to show you see here this is what a modifier this is what a class keyword and this is my class name right so i want to declare what i want to take a data members here data members are also called as attribute fields or properties so i want that so the first attribute i want to take is int emp id 
for the employee id the second attribute i want to take here is what name so a string e name means employee name the third one is double e sal which is basically what employee salary okay so these three things are what data members or you can say attributes or fields or properties fine and then data members are completed then we should uh, uh, we should take what methods inside the class right so methods like i want to take one method like void which is not returning anything so display is my method name and inside this you know what i want to do write sys out and then control space okay this thing so i want to print first employee id employee id okay in which variable i have the employee id emp id right so emp id you can do like this the next so you have to use control alt down arrow it will duplicate this okay so employee id is done so employee name and then employee sal and here it should be what e name and here it should be what e sal so basically this display method is what it is doing it is just displaying the information of the employee so inside the public static void main method i can uh, take like this this dot out dot print ln and then employ information information okay so basically this is what a non static method so in order to call the non static method generally we have to create the object of a class so don't go in depth just remember this see we have the attributes we have the methods here fine and this is a main class because main method is also present so i just want to show you one thing if you are not getting the point no worries so new employee i am creating the employee object okay and i am storing into one variable which is of what type employee type employee emp and i just want to call the method display so emp dot display okay fine with this point i hope it is pretty much clear to you so this is one example i want to show you how you can you know uh, create a class how you can declare your data members how can you declare or or write what the methods inside the class so i hope this thing is clear to you what is this i will explain you in the next lecture when we will learn about the objects basically i am here creating an object and i am calling the method display with the reference of this object okay and when i will run this what will happen you know it will give me an output like this see employee information employee id 0 employee name null employee salary 0 0.0 the default values of the data type int data type string data type and the double data type because you are not setting up the values right so it is taking the default values here i hope this thing is pretty much clear to you so this is what i have uh, explained here so basically if you want to see the diagram here so see this is my class diagram basically employee is what a class name and this all things are what here the variables or you can say data members and this is what the method why i am calling it as a main class because main method is also present here okay fine so let me explain you one thing see this is what the attribute and what is the data type of this variable int so you have to write emp id colon int see here e name and then colon then what is the data type string you have to follow this format in the class diagram okay like here see display is a method and what it is returning void so here void main is a method and what what is the argument to this main a string array arc so string array arc and what it is returning void so void here clear and let me explain you one thing you know this class diagram is incomplete we should use you know this things plus minus hash tilde okay we should use this thing which basically shows the visibility of a class attributes and operations 
don't worry for now okay understanding this much thing is enough for you at this point we will discuss everything in depth when when the time will come when the right time will come so basically if if your main method is public so you should use this plus symbol because this plus denotes public attribute or operation operations means what a method right and this minus sign denotes private attributes or operations hash denotes protected attributes or operation the still day denotes package attributes or operation but at this point you don't know what do you mean by public private protected package level that is the reason i am not explaining you this thing here so knowing this much is enough okay if you want to know a little bit let me explain you see main main is of what type public type so it should be like this plus main string array args and here void okay fine so this is all about the classes in java so thanks for watching this video please subscribe our youtube channel